Hey welcome, here's a quick tip for the Free Sky X Lite. Unlike the X7 and the X9, it doesn't have a momentary switch. This is one of the most valuable and versatile switches I find for FPV and the simulator as well. So here's a quick way of utilising these couple of dials in exactly the same manner. They fall perfectly under my fingers when I'm flying, obviously thumbs. So here's how I use them for telemetry on the quad first up and then I'll show you how to set it up for a simulator. Okay, all my channels are set up on these four switches. Um, Beeper, turtle mode and so forth. So I'll just ditch the light and I'll show you how I set this up for telemetry. I want the timer and say my voltage on these reporting back to me. Sorry. Okay, we need to go into a menu first up. For this, we will need to set a logical variable. LO1 on page 9 here. Focus camera. Okay, we want the function to be A less than X. And then we want V1, which is the switch, which is S1 on this. And we'll do the same for LO2, the logical switch or value. So again, A less than X on S2. So what that means is for look LO1 here, that condition will be set when S1 is less than X, which is about halfway, as you see. When I trigger it, it goes to bold. And the same for LO2, look. You do A less than X because, as standard, these dials, when they're facing outwards, are at their maximum, which is 2,000 units, or 2,000 milliseconds. So once we've set those logical values, we can utilize those in the special functions, look. So we'll set one here. Okay, as you see here, LO1 is play value VFAS. 11.1 volts. There you see. As soon as I flick this switch across, and then on the right hand side for S2. Zero. That is zero because if I give it some throttle for a while, my timer counts up on throttle stick, so at five seconds. Five seconds. So that's all good. That's um, telemetry lost. Telemetry and functions and so forth. So what I'll do is I'll make a new model just for the time being to show you how I would set it up for a simulator, for example. Okay, so we need to go into the channels or inputs. Say, for example, I want again. S1 and S2 for you might want them for reset and say re rewind. Uh, save you a lot of time reaching for a keyboard. So in input 5, all we do, it's already set that S1, come down to channel 6. That's set to S2 by default, but if it's not, if it's say set to SA, just highlight it and trigger the input you want. And then all we do is move on to the mixer and assign channel 5 to input 5 and channel 6 to input 6. Just enter and back out. So now, if you go into, say, liftoff's uh, button configuration or controller configuration, you'll be able to assign these to rewind and reset. So you won't have to... Let go of your controller when you crash all the time like me. Hope oh, that's helped. It's a nice little tweak you can do to get the functionality of a spring-loaded momentary. I wish they'd put an extra one on here or someone made a little kit that you could add on. But hey, hey, this is how it comes out in the box. So it's how it gets used for the most part, doesn't it? But thanks for watching. Any questions, happy to answer them. Happy flying and take care.
Eu falei, ai!